Eric Weiss, also known as Harry Houdini, was one of the greatest showmen the world has ever seen. He marveled crowds with his magical illusions and his feats of amazement and, of course, with his amazing escapes. But there was something else that Houdini did that was a large part of his life. He spent many years searching for a genuine spiritualist who could look beyond the grave and speak to the dead. After a great many trials, Houdini became disillusioned with the parlor tricks that were being employed by the so-called mediums and spiritualists, and he began to debunk them publicly, many times even showing how they performed their miracles in his stage shows and in articles and books. Today, I am going to follow up in Houdini's footsteps and seek to debunk what I consider to be many fraudulent claims of faith healers in the world. I'm going to examine the methods that they use to create the sensations that people feel when touched by them or simply being in their presence. One of the things I want to add as a disclaimer is that I do not deny the supernatural. I am a Christian and I believe that every miracle in the Bible is true. I also believe that God is still working miracles today. I simply believe that today there are many more wolves than there are sheep in the world. And those wolves have chosen to use parlor tricks to fool people, many of them in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want to expose them for what they are. A few years ago, I began to watch as various people who were claiming to be doing miracles and claiming to be bringing about healings, uh, and I began to watch a pattern develop as to the way those people were uh, handling the people that were coming up onto the chancel or to the stage with them. And I noticed a few things that kept happening, a few things, uh, physical activities that they would do. And as many of you know who, watch, who are watching this video, I've been a self-defense teacher for many, many years. And one of the things that I have taught is the body's weak areas and what parts of the bodies, or excuse me, what parts of the body, rather, are affected um, in what way. And if you study, <coughs> the nerves of the body, and you study the uh, what are called the pressure points of the body or the places in the body where there tends to be an electric shock feeling when you strike those places, you'll notice that uh, a lot of them are in the face. And I just want to show you some of them. And I want, in your own mind, I want you to begin to think about things that you've seen people do. And maybe you can connect the dots for yourself. One of the places in the head that is very, very common uh, for me to teach if I'm teaching self-defense is there's a place in the forehead, it's about two inches above the eye socket, and there are actually three nerves here, there are three pressure points here, and I'm going to tap with my hand and going away from his head in this direction, and if I do that, you'll see this happen. And I just give him a bump, his, come here. His eyes roll back into his head. He feels electrical shock to the brain. His eyes even begin to dilate a little bit when I do that because of the shock to the brain. Come here, let's put a little massage on that. Because that actually does create an electrical shock to the brain. The way the nerve endings are and where it's at and the way that I'm twisting my hand all are being uh, worked together to affect this shock. There's another point a little further down and it's in his chin and I always tell people to put their teeth together before I demonstrate this because if I demonstrate this his teeth are together and the the shock to the brain happens he'll clench down on his teeth and sometimes will bite his tongue uh, but I just give you a demonstration on this you ready come up here you feel that the little tap and there's a, a complete electrical shock to the system right yeah. feel it in your head you can tell, if, if you can't see in the video real close, his eyes glaze over when I do that. And he feels that because of where he's being hit. There's a nerve 
that sits right here. In fact, if you go across the jawline, you can feel the nerve in the jaw. And I'm just doing this very lightly. It may look like I'm really clobbering him, but really I'm just tapping these places on his body. And I've seen guys, uh, these faith healers, that'll come up and they'll do both sides. They'll come up and say, be healed. Well, I'm not even going to attempt that. Because I've already demonstrated that, let's see together, if I tap one side, he feels that and his legs begin to you good? If I touch this one side, his eyes begin to tear up and he, his eyes roll back into his head. If I come up on both sides and do that, and I don't have to do it hard. Again, I'm only tapping about that hard. If I come up and tap like that, he's going to feel this sense of rush to his brain that he's probably never felt before. And it's going to affect him uh, like an electrical shock. Another nerve that we use is a nerve that is in the face and it's underneath the cheekbones. And I just want you to watch his eyes when I'm turning you towards the camera a little bit. If I reach up to these and I just, just slightly push into those, you notice his eyes close up. If I just go in and just touch into those points. Now if I do that and I push down, you feel a shock. Yeah. I went up, come down, just slightly. I went up and there's a feeling of shock to the brain. And the reason is all of these nerves that I'm showing you, whether it's the nerves that are here, the nerves that are here, the nerves that are here, all of these are connected, interconnected to the nerves of the body. And when I touch them, it's creating a shock to his brain. He's feeling a sense of shock. Now, I want to have you think about this. Imagine someone has told you that they are a prophet of God. Imagine someone has come to you and they've told you that their hands literally are, are exploding with the power of God and that they have the power of God on them. Well, you are already predisposed in your mind, if you believe what they're saying, to accept that they're telling you the truth. And then the person comes up and they say, be healed. Don't you okay? You feel the shock to your system and you think you felt the power of God. You feel that. Here, sit down. That make you feel pretty sick. I don't want to do that again. Go ahead and step up here. If you feel that in your, your body, your whole body will begin to feel this electrical impulse, this shock, because of the nerves. As I said at the beginning of this video, I believe in miracles and I believe that God still performs miracles today. But I also believe that there are men in the world, one or two in particular that I'm thinking of, and I'm going to talk about them more towards the end of this video, that are complete and utter charlatans. They are out there using manipulation to cause people to believe that they have the power of God when they are actually teaching false truths, they are not teaching the scripture, they are leading people, in my opinion, to hell. And this video is not being uh, put out to say this is how every faith healer does it. I'm simply saying I'm going to cut to some video right now of a very prominent faith healer. And you're going to see him hit the points here. You're going to see him touch the points here. You're going to see him touch the points here. And let me tell you something. Once you have provided someone with that mental stimulus, that telling them this is what's going to happen to you, and then you perform it and they feel a shock, that's all they need. That's all they need to be convinced that they've fallen under the power of God.